So you want to kick back on your patio, but it is not looking too hot. In fact, some of your pavers might be sinking. Ah, but we can undo it. Guys, a little help. How to undo with Mike Montgomery. That's me. If you've got a few sunken pavers in your patio, a few things could have happened. It could be roots, drainage, or critters. <laughs> Moles, ground hogs, and gophers love to burrow, which is no good for patios. It's also common for soil to settle over time. So really quick, let's take a look and see what's going on underground. Starting from the bottom, we have our soil. You want to make sure this is evened out and packed tightly, gently sloping away from your house or any important structures. Above that, we've got a four inch layer of patio paver base. Be sure that this is tamped down extra tight. Next is a one inch layer of patio paver sand. And finally, our paver bricks on top with polymeric or joint stabilizing sand in between the cracks. Remember, if you don't get your layers right, you'll end up with sinking pavers. To fix a sinking paver, we'll need to dig up these layers, add some more paper base and new sand, then pack everything down. For this fix, we'll need a level, two large putty knives, a shovel, paper base, paper sand, and polymeric sand, a tamper, a push broom, and gloves. Now let's dig in. To start, we'll lay the level across the sunken area to help find where we need to start digging. Whoa. But before you get too carried away, make sure and take note of the pattern. That way we can redo it later. And next, we're gonna remove all of these sunken pavers, plus a row or two extra around the border. This one's almost got a little bit of wiggle, so I think we'll start here. To get the first paver out, I like to use two putty knives. Plus, they help dig out dirt and sand that's in the cracks. Check it out. Ta-da! One down, a lot more to go. Once the first stone is out, the rest are easy. Perfect. Now I'm gonna shovel out this top layer of sand and even out our four inch layer of paper base underneath. So right off the bat, I can tell that this paper base has not been tamped down properly. Just watch this. Hey. That's way too much movement. It should be solid like a rock. So this is a hand tamper, but if you've got a large project, you can rent a powered one from the Home Depot Tool Rental Center. Now that that first pour is tamped down, I can see I've still got a little bit of a low spot here. So I'm gonna add more paver base. So that's much better. You can tell now that when I hit it, that paper base doesn't move. Now we can add our sand and tamp it down. And now it's time to check for level. And to do that, I'm gonna place one of my pavers directly in the center of the damaged area. Then I can put my level down and see if it's raised or lower. Oh, wow, perfect. Now we're ready to lay our pavers back in following the pattern that we had before. And fun fact, a rubber mallet is the perfect tool to help fit in any snug pieces or knock down any raised pavers. Look at that. Perfect. And now it's time to fill these cracks. You could use standard joint sand or this stuff, which is called polymeric sand. It works its way into the cracks and hardens when activated with water. Work it into the cracks with a push broom. Then remove all the excess with your broom so that there's not any haze left behind. And if you want to get this step done more quickly, you can use a leaf blower. <laughs> and now soak the sand with water. Don't use too much, just enough to saturate it. And after a while, that sand will harden and your patio is unsunk. Solid. If you're installing a new patio and you need a paper to fit somewhere weird, like a corner, you're gonna need to cut it. Oh, yeah. 
It's getting me fired up. Here we go. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was an awful idea. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, how can I break this? Okay, gotta cut it. Let's go. I saw this in the movie. This is definitely gonna work. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, that was a terrible idea. That's not gonna work. Oh. If you've got a whole lot of pavers to cut, ridding a tile saw is actually a great option. But if you've only got to cut a few pavers or you need to make more intricate cuts, the angle grinder is the way to go. Now, let's take this outside. I'll be using this diamond segmented blade, which cuts easier and lasts longer than an abrasive disc. Plus, the segments allow dust and debris to be cleared out easier when you're dry cutting. Now that's smooth. And now that we fixed this patio, uh -oh. I think it's time to test this thing out. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Be sure to click right here or here for more episodes of How to Undo. And to shop this full project, check the link to the guide in the description below. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time on How to Undo. Bye, everybody.